good evening professor this is my personal timetable so in this week i have planned in terms of my prioritized work so first is to finish or like to assist the person to finish this corona biosensor paper as soon as possible uh, according to the comments from the english uh, english editing services and the professor ajit comments considering that these two comments and we have to finalize this paper in this week as soon as possible and the second one is the aptamer biosensor research sir we got the chemicals so uh, i have to discuss with the ryun sang and dongmin to assist me to start this experiment from tomorrow and uh, third one is the psa biosensor research like we have got the new psa antibody and antigen so i have to fix it and then i have to plan for the research so this is the paper of corona biosensor it is a summarized thing that i have to display here and so i have to so me and prashant are working hard for this to complete of this paper as per their english editing services and the corona and the professor ajit comments uh, considering these two comments we have to finalize the paper and also simultaneously i am working on the figures dealing with the jaya so these are the things that i am going through from my side and we will definitely deliver to you the final paper with along with the supplementary materials and the figures updated figures in this week and sir uh, now i am going to focus on the aptamer biosensor research so first of all i just want to know the what exactly kind of what kind of aptamer we have in our lab so i have read so many articles like to know more about the aptamer and how to deal with our chip and then what what uh, step or like biosensor recipe we have to follow to detect the specific um, sensing materials so the best aptamer is like amym1 was found to this uracil bases in 30 more random region it's a basic a short aptamer is basically is a short segment of the dna so if you if we can say um that the number of segments is in a linear way and then we have to just cut it the small segment is called aptamer and um and also i have here i have mentioned the what is the difference between the aptamer and antibody so first of all aptamer are basically having the greater specificity and affinity than antibodies so if i if i go with this point so i have to explain the like so uh, from the la, from the previous research work we have used antibody there are the numerous kind of antibodies in the in in the chemic in the terms of in our lab so is the greater specificity is increases if we use this kind of aptamer rather than the antibodies and also the main point is it can be easily modified it's a chemically is a chemical so is chemically modified to to get the you know improve and tailored properties because aptamer is basically we have to tune the segment like what segment we have to put it into this uh, in the specification so we have to you know um, manually we can change and tailor the properties so, so basically that's why the aptamer is more greater specificity than the antibodies and also it's basically is a conjugation to the other group as well polyethylene glycol is a favorable group that is easily combined with the aptamer and there is small size leads to high number of moles of target bound per gram uh, it's basically aptamer having a active 
active sites there are so many active sites on the abdomen so it's that's why the antibody is having only one active sites it's a basically um, um it's called like only only one active site but in case of aptamer there are so many active sites and they are much more stable as well and um, at ambient temperature like for example is um, it's uh, they can tolerate transportation without any without any uh, without any special requirements for cooling and eliminating the need for a continuous gold chain so my main my main motto is to display this thing in the ppt is the aptamer is more accurate more specificity more sensitivity and more you know active sites than the antibody so it's it's good for us to use this aptamer and to deal with our biosensor recipe on the on our superior or like a smart chip on the smart chip to detect the capacitance value and to get the appropriate uh, detection value this is um, is more is a good opportunity to having this aptamer and to deal with our uh, respective uh, chemicals on the chip so basically aptamer is having the classified in two things dna or rna or peptide so dna is basically uh, it's a obviously it's a d oxyribonucleic acid so having the double stranded dna and the rna is having the single stranded segments so it's uh, they they follow the it's a repetitive round of in vitro selections so we have to follow here the selex s e l e x is a system evaluation of ligands by exponential enrichment so uh, as you can see here it's a random dna library there are number of uh, random dna and then is uh, unbounded dna and wash it and then dna target complexes and isolated bound dna is a pcr method so it's another thing and the peptide aptamers are basically artificial proteins uh, selected or to bind the target molecules these protein one or more peptide loops of variable sequences as well and uh, it can bind cellular protein targets and you know exert biological effect so it's basically is this kind of interface is working in the normal protein interaction of their target molecules with other proteins so basically it's the various aptamer based biosensor design strategies so there are the numerous kind of aptamer binding affinity is if we can say elisa and the fret method and and obviously so there are two kind of materials is responsible for the good binding affinities first one is the gold nanoparticle and the graphene oxide as well so this paper is responsible for this figure and these are the, our experimental steps so we have here p3 and p6 chip for measurement and we have to follow the same pattern same thing that we have already done before so in this case we have to use in the case of uh, um, antibodies we have to use aptamer and then then use bsa for this and then wash with this and here we have the antigen so it's alpha mileage there are the numerous kind of antigen so we have to fix it and to measure with the LCR meter and this is the specification of the um, aptamer so it's having the 100 picomole per microliter it's 80 and it's also purified by the page method and the modification is 5 not FAM and sir so this is the last week 
that we have submitted in this nano micro letters of this review article so hopefully we will get the positive response from the journal and thank you sir